Hello guys and welcome to another video and today I am going to be showing you how to make a working open button and close button. So before we get into the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And let's get going. So what you're going to need is the explorer opened. So view explorer. And then properties open, so view properties and your toolbox. Wait, uh, no, you do not need your toolbox. You actually need your output too. Okay, so once we're done with that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to starter GUI and you're gonna add a frame. Wait, whoops. First, actually, you have to add a screen GUI and put the frame into the screen GUI, and then it will pop up. Now you can size it to your liking. I'm just going to keep it just like this for now. Because then it's just plain, and we don't need the tutorial to be any longer. So, okay. What you're going to do now is you're going to add a text button into the screen GUI which you had before and you could size this but I'm just going to keep it how it is. And what you need to do is you can name the frame to whatever you want. I'm just going to name the frame to test. And yeah, so next you're going to add a text button into the frame. This is going to be our close button. So you're going to want to make it small. I'm going to put it in the top right corner. I'm going to change it, the background color, to red. And then the text scaled. And text is going to say X. Color is going to be white. And the text stroke transparency is going to be zero so now we kind of have that actually i don't don't do the text scaled for the x Just find the size 30 is a good size and then you're going to go back to this text button and you're going to add a local script so we're going to add a local script and now you have to type ig exactly what i say if you don't then it's going to be wrong but on one part, you have to type something different. So let's get started. So what you got to do is local frame equals script dot parent dot parent dot. Now right here after the parent, you're gonna do whatever the name of the frame is. So mine is test. So we're gonna put test. Then local open equals false. And then double enter script dot parent dot mouse button one click and then connect function and then double parentheses then enter and then if frame dot visible double equals false then and then frame that visible by the line start with background noise equals true. And then enter and then backspace and then else and then enter. And then frame that visible equals. And then there's that script, a very easy script. And by the way, this script is not mine, and it's from s someone who commented in my YouTube channel. And if you guys want to play his game, it will be in the description below. So that should be working now. So you should now actually be able to test this. So go to test and play. Right now, it's just going to play. That's a lot of bad stuff there. But if you click the button you see that it is going to open up what you need. It's going to open up the frame. Now we're going to script the X button. If you want to, actually I'm going to test something here. If we put this off, 
and do this. I want to see if this still works because then I don't think it will open this up anymore. Like it will. And if you want to get rid of the frame, you're gonna to have to go to test and scroll down the properties and then click the visible. And then it will disappear. And you can click it again to make it come back. Oh, so there, okay, that works as well. So actually guys, if you guys want you guys can do either script. I'm gonna do like I'm gonna do one of them. Um scripts will also be in the description as well. So yeah, so actually guys, do this script. Do not include the else and then the frame that visible equals false. You can have this. You can if you want, if you don't want to even make a close button, but it's the same thing. So now with this text button, which is the X, actually we're going to make our frame visible again so we can see it. There it is. This is a text button. Wait. And then you're going to add a local script into the X button and then you're going to enter the script script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function and double parentheses and then script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals false and that's all you gotta do for that very 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 easy guys so now let's make the frame invisible again so we can test this all out so now if we click the button this will appear and if we click the x it will disappear which is exactly how you need it to be done Next video, guys, is going to be how to make a Robux shop, which is going to be how to buy Game Passes in-game with buttons and close buttons, and I'm really looking forward to that. So we'll be doing that when we get to it, and that should be tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow. It might be Sunday as well. But yes, guys, be sure to like the video and subscribe if this did work for you. So we'll see you guys next time.